Well, not only is Florida setting records for the number of daily COVID-19 cases, but also for the number of people needing care. Today, there were 10,389 patients in Florida hospitals. That exceeds the record set last summer by 219 patients. According to the CDC, there were 10, oh, 110,477 new cases in Florida last week, but the data looks a little different now than a few months back. For more than a year, we showed you the state's COVID-19 dashboard, but that's not how the state is reporting or releasing data now. As Senate Investigates Jennifer Titus explains, some lawmakers would like to see it go back to the way it once was. Throughout the pandemic, Floridians were used to being able to very easily get daily COVID reporting data from the state through the Department of Health's dashboard. Representative Carlos Smith says as the cases continue to rise in the state, it's actually worse than it's ever been. So does his frustration when it comes to figuring out the whole picture regarding COVID-19. We don't have this daily COVID uh, information like we used to have throughout the pandemic. With one click, he says he could see cases, deaths, age breakdowns, and a county by county look. That's not the case anymore. 10 Investigates has learned some of the information is out there. You just have to know where to look. According to the Department of Health, they continue to report COVID case data daily to the CDC, where there is also an area for county by county breakdown. For me working at a local level, I want to see something local. So our state reports gave me a lot more information that was helpful for me to make decision making here. The state report released each week does have case information by age, but it doesn't show what county they are from. That's why we're urging Governor DeSantis to reinstate that daily COVID reporting data to include county by county detailed breakdowns, including breakdowns by age of not only COVID cases, but hospitalizations. Representative Smith says that's one reason he made his own records request to see age data from the county he represents, but he's still waiting on those records. We want more transparency and we want more real time information so people can make smart decisions. Now we did ask the state whether or not they will report the data via the dashboard like they did for months and when, but they have not gotten back to us. They did, however, tell Jen this quote, please continue informing your audiences and communities of the benefits of the vaccines. Your communication to the public significantly assist, assist the state of Florida in returning to normal.